Here's a question for you. What happens when you mix the L plates, the bunny ears, the strippers and the showgirls with a different well-known celebrity each week? Answer, you get celebrity hens and stags. stag industry is worth a staggering 500 million pounds a year. That's a lot of L plates. And for these lucky people, their day is about to become one they'll never forget, as they'll be chaperoned by a well-known celebrity. We're here in Marbella in Spain in the Costa del Sol with uh, Port Benus just down the road, which is the playground for the rich and famous. This is the hottest hen destination for a proper hen party, and not just because of the weather. I mean, it's 36 degrees here today. Because it's the playground for the rich and famous, you've got all the Ferraris and everything driving by, all the rich boys. Hens love it. They tend to get quite a lot of free drinks bought for them. They feel like celebrities. It's proper VIP attention they get here. It's exactly what you'd want at a hen party. So we've got them suites in a four-star hotel right on the beach in Porto Venus. We've organised a beautiful champagne breakfast for them tomorrow morning. They've got a cheeky butler who wears pretty much a collar and cuffs. We've also got a VIP beach day where they get a private area on the beach and are treated like celebrities for the entire day. We're going to show them the best hotspots, the best nightclubs and get them in obviously VIP entry and treat them again tomorrow night. It's going to be quite a heavy one. Today's celebrity taking up the challenge of a Red 7 rep should feel right at home with all that sun, sea and sand. It's none other than ex-Hollyoaks and Love Island star Paul Danan. We we're going to make a, a celebrity, well-known celebrity at that, uh, Paul Danan, and we're going to put him under the spotlight and see how good a rep he can be. I've not had a chance to speak to Paul yet, so I don't know how good he is at organising girls. Can he organise 10 girls and can he organise 10 girls that want VIP treatment? It's going to be a pretty big challenge, especially in the heat. I just hope Paul can keep up. Yeah, I've arrived in Spain. It's absolutely scorchio. It's going to be amazing. I know that there's beautiful women that I'm about to entertain. In a way, I'm kind of used to this type of thing, but I have never actually had 15 women at once. So this is a good one. Hello. Paul, how you doing? All right, man, how are you? I'm Keith from Red Seven. Quick question before we start. How good are you with the girls? Oh, that's a silly question. Uh, uh, brilliant. Absolutely fantastic yeah. with women. Quite yes. Lady tonight. I love the female company. Yeah. It's not a problem. How good are you with 10 girls at once? Are you good at juggling girls? I, I am good at juggling girls. The reason I'm asking those questions is because I'm going to test these claims and see how good you can be at being a hen party rep for the weekend. Are you up for that? I'm very up for that. Are they nice? Are they fit? You'll be happy, it'll be all right. Good. Obviously one of them's getting married, so. Yeah, so we won't touch her. The radar. Well, we might, but no. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> the most important thing is to be happy at all times, to uh, to get everyone involved, and, um, and you know, to just, to just flirt with them and to, to make them feel special. They don't know that you're gonna be here. They don't even know there's a celebrity looking after okay. them. Okay. Okay. But we're going to surprise them tomorrow right. with you. Right. So you need to be straight in there, professional, looking like you know what you're doing, because you need to make them feel comfortable. Of course. That you're going to look after them for the day. Not a problem. I was born to do this. Were you? Yes. <laughs> Paul seems to be a bit of a ladies' man. Um, I'm slightly nervous to how naked he seems to think they're all going to get tomorrow at the beach bar. I think drinking games and I think, you know, just having a laugh, uh, doing some maybe kind of, you know, a bit of strip tease or a bit of kind of uh, lap dancing and, and uh, you know, just kind of girls getting off of each other. We're going to have all of that, yeah. As soon as I introduce it to these girls, I want you to make a big fuss of them. Yeah. You need to be part of the hen party, but in control of the hen party at the same time. Yeah. I don't want you being on the outside of it can stand in the background. I want you right in about it, in the middle of it, yeah. with the hen. I just want him to make sure that he makes a massive effort with the hens as soon as he meets them tomorrow. And if he does that, I think we'll be on a winner. Yeah, how can you be 
nervous, really. You know, the only the only nerves is just you know that you hope it goes well. Hopefully, he'll pick up the tips that I've given him and make it an extra special day tomorrow. We want them to have an unforgettable time. Yeah. That's obviously of course. the most important thing. Yeah. That's why they're in Marbella. My parents have a place here. They've so had it for over 20 party, years. Oh, maybe. It's somewhere that I'm familiar with. I'm so chuffed with the enthusiasm and the kind of local knowledge that Paul's going to bring to this role. He seems really up for it, and um, that's what you need. I think everyone just is here to have a party and, and have a good laugh, and, and that's why people keep coming back here. You need to be on time tomorrow morning. Are you a person that would lie in bed till after midday? Absolutely. You are, right? Tomorrow's not the day that you oh, do that. You'll have to come and slap my ass and get me out. Yeah, whatever you say, I'll do. I'm in, your, uh, I'm in your hands. Will we see another 10 out of 10 in terms of a rep uh, and how I skill them? I don't know. Paul, he's got the potential to do it, um, but in practice, can he? I think he believes in me, he believes that I can do the job. Pressure's on, but I'm happy, and uh, I think it's going to be great. We're then going to take them on to the VIP beach day, where they're going to be treated like celebs on the beach. We've got their own private area, they've got the sun loungers, more champagne. Obviously, it's a big amount of responsibility to put on his shoulders if he's never had this experience. The more they feed me, the more I can, you know, and we just bounce off each other. And, you know, I suppose it's just being confident, really. What I'm going to do is get you to organise some VIP bars that we can get them into, you know, the really exclusive ones. Obviously, get the cocktails and stuff going, probably more champagne, play some party games and stuff like that. Yeah. Right, let's get some kip. Let's do it. Cheers. I'm really confident about tomorrow and putting Paul in charge of the hen party. No, I'm not worried. I think it's going to be great. The next morning, and Paul is on time. Yes, here we are. Cafe Med. This is where we're going to meet the girls. They're on their way here. I'm going to go inside and hide so they don't see me until the last minute. We're going to have a great day. Very excited. We've come to Marbella for the handu. As you can see, we're a very glamorous bunch of girls. So this is the place to be, Port Benice. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a really good time. Can't wait. The party starts off with a revealing round of drinks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's quite a shock. Nobody noticed that because he was stood like apron on until he turned round and I think Catherine first noticed that and it was like, God, he's got his bum out. <laughs> <laughs> Who else can say that they've been to such a glamorous place for the hen do? And, you know, as you can see, we fit in very well. All right, girls, you enjoying your hen party? Yeah! We've organised for you, instead of just me, we've got a celebrity rep for you as well. Yeah! You might know him from Hollyoaks. <laughs> And a celebrity Love Island, <gasps> Paul Denan. <laughs> you enjoying yourself? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. Where's Steve Pine? Me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Right, thank you. You're going soon. Yeah. Has he got his bum out yet? Yeah. No. You're in charge of them for the rest of the day. It's all on your shoulders. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> we're going to have a laugh tonight. There's lots of places that we're going to get into. We're going to be treated very nicely. I can't believe it's holding on. I remember him from Hollyoaks. Kate used to really love him when she was going to school. And that's when she used to see him on Hollyoaks quite a lot. And she quite fancied him then. So it was quite a, quite a nice surprise for her. When we knew it was Paul Denan from Hollyoaks, I was thinking, oh my God, because Catherine, I think she had a little bit of a hot spot for him back in the day. But obviously now she's a married woman. Well, she will be. That was when I was in school uniform, so it was years ago. <laughs> it was, honest, years ago. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. Yes, everyone looks great. Everyone seems raring to go. I think it's going to be a, a very, very interesting day. Coming up, Paul abandons the hens for a Spanish waitress. There's fun in the sea. Bit of a mad idea. And a wild night. That's the mark in your face. Welcome to Marbella. Celebrity rep Paul Denan is supposed to be watching over the group of hens, but it looks like someone else has caught his eye. We've been with the hens, we've just given them their uh, champagne breakfast. They're absolutely loving it. We've revealed Paul to them as well. But at this stage, I'm a little bit disappointed. A hen rep needs to be with the hen party, getting involved with the group. 
you know, and he's just sitting out there chatting while the hens are in there having a great time. It's two separate things. He just needs to get in there and make more of an effort with them. Lovely. Yeah. Okay. Hens, you enjoyed your VIP uh, little breakfast, champagne breakfast. It's now time to go to the beach bar where we've got it all lined up. We've got a private section for us. Loads more champagne. It's going to be great. So follow me. Okie dokie, come inside, <laughs> this is all yours, Wicked Bar, Wicked Beach, come in, oh. come in, yeah. what one do you want babe? <laughs> so, come and relax, chill out, I let you put the hands to bed, yeah? Here on the beach in Port Banus, that's why we get so many inquiries, because they just love the fact you've got the beach, the clubs, the bars, and your hotel all in the one area. It's brilliant. Paul's just come up with a great idea. He's going to go and start them out with welcome drinks. I don't know what he's got planned, uh, but it's really good that he's making that effort. Sangria! <laughs> this is where it all begins. Congratulations! Thank you! Woo! To the beautiful bride and her beautiful girls, we are here in Spain to let our hair down, have a lot of fun and make a lot of noise. So have a lovely day and um, enjoy yourself. Congratulations. The girls are fantastic, really sweet. Uh, we've got the sangria flowing, they've got lovely sunbeds um, and I think they're just going to sunbathe, have a nice time. I think they're happy with, with me. I think they're glad that I'm here and I, I feel welcome. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed. The bride used to fancy me. Fantastic. It makes me feel uh, quite privileged and, and special that she did have a little thing in her heart for me. Being a full-time rep, having this kind of life wouldn't be bad. But, you know, I like what I do, so um, I'll leave it to them. I think I can just now chill out maybe for a bit and uh, catch some rays. It's hard work, but someone's got to do it. We're going down to the sea. The girls are in there, so... <laughs> Running down, all oh, cool. Puts his toe in, run back out again. <laughs> Great, man. A bit of a mad idea. Uh, I don't think it was a bit of a wuss, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> didn't say it very hard. <laughs> We've just been chilling on the beach, had a really nice lunch, three course meal. And uh, I think we're going to play some games, so I'm not sure if we Okay, here we are uh, on the beach, the girls have eaten. We're now going to play a game. We're going to get a bottle of champagne. I'm going to stand in the sea. We're going to have two poles. The girls are going to run around the poles five times, two at a time, come to me in the sea, down like a load of champagne, come back, and they're going to keep doing it until I think they pass out or something like that. Right, we are going to um, basically play a game. I think two at a time. You're going to run around the poles five times, come to the sea, down a load of champagne, and I think we're going to keep doing it until until you literally pass well, out. So you up for that, yeah? I'll let your food go down a little bit, but because we don't want puke everywhere. <laughs> and, but uh, yeah, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay. You have to catch me first. Doesn't seem like Paul's idea was such a hit. Yeah, I think it's quite time we uh, leave the hands to top up the hands in the room. Yeah. And then we can uh, rinse them later on. Okay, girls, we're going to love you and leave you. Top your hands up. Have a, have a great rest of the afternoon, and if it's all right, I'll come and get you about half nine. You'd be in your glam. I think we have to tell these girls about seven o'clock because they take so long. Do they? <laughs> they're always late. All the straighteners and all that. Yeah. All 
Right, well, uh, yeah, we're really coming at seven. Bye. Bye. We need to absolutely pick up the energy, go mental tonight. Yeah, it's been really chilled this afternoon, hasn't it? But that's cool. That's, I quite like that. So far, Paul hasn't been that involved with the group, but I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt because it's a really chilled afternoon. They're doing their sunbathing and, uh, and just uh, making the most of it, I suppose, because they're going back tomorrow. But tonight is where it all happens. They're going to get their glam rocks on. They're going to be absolutely gorgeous. Tonight's going to be the true test for his uh, repping ability. You know, is he going to bring excitement to the party? Um, he's got all these ideas for drinking games. I did offer for them to do um, like this this game where they run around a pole and come to the sea where I've got champagne and like play a little drinking game. But I think that they were just kind of so relaxed they just weren't up for it. So you know, don't worry, I'll get them back tonight, big time. Hopefully tonight you'll come out shell a bit more and we'll see the real pole shape. The plans are tonight is just to go into the bars, make sure that's all sorted out, get our own section, um, and uh, just get the shots going first get them all really into it and then hopefully play a few competitions and um, and you know maybe get some uh, some girl girl on girl action you never know tonight we're gonna get them absolutely never <laughs> it's brilliant I'll leave you in charge of that. you sound like the expert working so as the day becomes night it's party time hello how you doing Paul you alright you alright man good to see you this is brilliant I know. can't believe they're staying here eh? unbelievable near everything We'll get them out of the room. Let's do it. How are you doing? It smells great right. from here. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Look nice. What well, an apartment. You all ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Now, this bar is famous for its karaoke, so maybe we get them to do a stupid song. Yeah, definitely. Are you up for joining the karaoke? Yeah, I love yeah. the same song. Do you? Of course. Yeah. All right, oh. let's go, girls. Let's do shots. <laughs> what do you want to say to all your lovely friends? Just have a really good time tonight. Thank you very much for coming. Oh, it's a cat. I think definitely Paul's in his element here. And he's going for his second shot, so of uh, I think it's vodka line we're doing now. And it's pretty much a 10 second break in between the last one. Uh, he's, de he's trying to make the party, you know, get the atmosphere going. And that, that's what you need to do as a rep. I just want to say thank you for having me. I'm really excited to be here and I wish you all the best in the future with your lovely husband. Let's have a great one. Let's get the champagne. We're at O'Grady's, we've had shots, champagne, and uh, we're about to go inside where we've got a VIP area, loads of bottles of vodka. Okay, ladies, it's time to party! Woo! Follow me! It seems after a full start, Paul is now getting the party going. <laughs> Everyone joined in, it's just amazing. Yeah, 
yeah, the karaoke was a bit of a nightmare for me, actually. Not something that I normally do, but it was good fun all the same. I still don't think we should have lost because we only had four in our team and the others had five. So there you go. Our evening so far has been absolutely fantastic. Lots of shots. <laughs> um, and a whole bottle of Smirnoff as well. <laughs> It's been really good, we've had loads of shots. Um, we've got lots of vodka on the table now. Okay, people, uh, we promised you a sexy moment, you've had the fun. It's now time for the chess. Oh, right. Please welcome the sexiest barman alive. <laughs> He's only there. So with Catherine shaking her stuff on the dance floor and having a good time, have the others enjoyed their day as much? It's been absolutely amazing. Couldn't have done it any better for us. I think uh, Paul just fitted well into the day. He didn't um, bother us a great deal. This evening he's really come into his own, I think. He's a real party animal from the looks of it and he's certainly made a party for us. Party games there, shots. Couldn't ask for anything more. It's been amazing. Paul's been a fantastic addition to our hen night, definitely. And the girls loved it. I've had a great time. Thank you so much for having me. The hands are both brilliant, mate. I'm, I'm really chuffed. I wouldn't do one thing different. I think everything about it was just spot on. And, um, you know, I was very, very glad to be a part of it. I'm going to give Paul a seven and a half to an eight. Maybe a seven and three quarters out of ten. Purely because of the effort he's made tonight. If he'd made the effort in the morning, definitely I would have... up next time. Party girl Bianca Gascoigne makes a big impression with a group of stags in Riga, but will they be able to keep up with her?